Video recording check. Stream compilation check. Charming yet irritable host check. Check. You guys know why you're here. Title of the video is up there. And all I gotta say is... Wow. A good friend of mine once said, Double A games deserve to exist. That friend is Chase. Shout out to Chase. And I agree with that completely because to me personally, it feels like the nostalgia of an old school game come to the modern age that you can just play. And if it's good, even better. So as a RoboCop fan, Steelbook of RoboCop and all, it is a great satire sci-fi action movie. It's one of few action movies I recommend to everybody. I love showing it to my friends. And even though I don't own the second one, but I do like the second one as well, I do have RoboCop the series as well, one of the series that was made at least, that I might do a review on eventually. And I'm just a big fan of, of satires that poke fun at, at things and, and political stances and whatnot. RoboCop is a very big movie on, on, on shit being whack. We all hate corporations. RoboCop shows us that corporations and, and forces will, will turn your dead body into a, a machine and a product. And you will be a robot with psychological trauma for the rest of your life. So RoboCop is amazing. RoboCop 2, underrated in my opinion, although a lot of people hold that opinion as well. And uh, RoboCop 3, yeah, it's whatever. Animated series is everything. I'm pushing myself way beyond the point of what I should be talking about right now. Back to the focus of this video. Double A games deserve a place, and RoboCop Rogue City is very well deserving of a double A game that deserves its place, and it does way more than it really should have. This isn't gonna be a typical review. I'm going to show stream of me playing the game because I got 48 hours access, which was more like 24 hours because the game came out today on the second, but I was able to play it on the first and not the 31st, which is 40, whatever, I don't care. I still got a, an early access to play it. I'm gonna be showing that gameplay right now and uh, let me just say it was really fun. So here's a little bit of that gameplay. I, uh, I, Wait, let me cut the gameplay short before I do get into it. Yes, I will be reviewing the game. There's gonna be a couple minutes of, of gameplay, not much, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a review, and then there's gonna be a couple more minutes of gameplay. And it's like, it's a little bit of both. It's best of both worlds, so uh, anyways, continue the video. Anybody else need a <laughs> I am gonna say... Nothing wrong, you say. I say, nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. Maybe we should all practice what we preach. All right, uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. Yes, I can grab this chair. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find certain... Where? Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. <laughs> we can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. It's so funny. Not to mention illegal. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. I love criminals talking about the Get ethics him. of the market. <laughs> Got him. Let's go into psychology. Now the real show is about to go down. What's wrong? Uh, Piggies. I believe I do. I'm just gonna take another moment to appreciate my graphics are not even on the highest settings. My graphics are on medium. They are on medium. And they look this good. Oh, you and me. We got some beef. We got some beef at 209. Listen to me, 209. Listen to me. Listen to me, you. We got some beef. Alright? Your little guns right here. They suck. Your little feet. They suck. You suck. At 209. And let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, buddy. And please! I was just getting. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Then you are going to need a new plan. So that's not all of the game, and I'm still not done with all of the game, but I've put basically nine hours into this game already, and it just came out today for anybody who hasn't pre-ordered. So this is about as quickly as I can make this video without literally somebody just going on my Twitch or TikTok live streams, which I stream on Twitch and TikTok live for stuff like this. This is about as quick as you can get this information, and I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that, but 
To anybody who's interested, yes, this game is really good. First person action, skill trees. There are cosmetics. I had to pre-order the cosmetics, but I don't know if there are more cosmetics. I'll get into that in a little bit. Branching dialogue choices and as of the recording of this video, I have no idea if that changes the outcome of the story or not. I, I don't know. But it does affect whether or not certain characters are alive or dead, I can tell you that much. There's like very unique systems, like not just the skill tree that I mentioned, but like upgrading your gun and having certain... My mind is blanking, I can't remember the term right now, but you can essentially customize how much damage and stuff your gun can give out, but you can also just have a separate version of that. You can essentially just customize how effective your gun is in different ways with different percentages and, and inputs and it's really good. RPG, skill tree, gun customization, branching dialogue options, a pretty good story that takes place in between Robocop 2 and 3, the return of certain Robocop cyborg enemies and stuff like that and Ed 209s and just a lot of goodies. If you are a fan of Robocop, you're going to love this game. Again, I've put nine hours into the game and I'm nowhere near finished yet. But if you don't even know what the hell Robocop is, yeah, this isn't the first movie. It's right after the second movie actually, but you're gonna get into the universe pretty quick and you're gonna learn a lot of things pretty quick. And I also just love the way that this story puts you in the perspective of Robocop where there is derealization happening everywhere. People don't know if you're trustworthy or not. And this is after the second movie. We've gone through the events of two movies by now and people don't even know if they can still trust you, but you get to see it through the perspective of Robocop because you're him. You get to see the glitching, the, 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 the PTSD, the visions of your family and also introduction of great characters. Yeah, there's a lot of cheesy corny stuff in here, but it's campy on purpose. That's how Robocop always has been. It works in its favor, but there are some genuinely great characters that I really like, like Pickles, for example. I, I like his character, he's really good. Being on the street, just an NPC asking you to do the robot dance and you can or can't, and of course you're gonna do the robot dance. And characters like Olivia Blanche, oh my God. You're telling me that these companies made this game, the same people who did the Rambo game, which was eh, but the Terminator game, which was okay. They made this game? Like genuinely? I want more from them. Olivia Blanche is such a great character and it shows just how much they've developed. They can put these characters into a game that they have made and it just gets better. I don't know, there's just there's just so much that, that they've done with this game that really makes me happy. It's like, yeah, single player game, no multiplayer. Uh, the ideal game to me would always be single and multiplayer, but I love both equally in their own rights. And this is a great example of a single player game in a double A environment. Feels like a nostalgic game, like one of those games that you loved so much as a kid and you wanted to play again, so you pick it up again and it still holds up, which to me that's Alien Isolation, which is gonna be like 10 years old soon, or already is. But this game is that, and this game will be that game for a new generation of kids 10 years down the line where they're like, I remember Rogue. Robocop Rogue City. Let me play it. Oh yeah, it still holds up. I feel like everything about this game is just a surprise. And I know a lot of people very, were very worried. I was, you know, I was like, eh, it's gonna be a, it's from this company, so whatever, I don't expect much, but hey, a Robocop game. And then, you know, I get blown out of the water. Nine hours of gaming and I'm still not done with the game and so much has happened. I went into my first boss battle with an ED 209 and I was actually like anxious. You know, like it wasn't easy. It was not easy, I was, I might have not done everything correctly, like maybe I, I, I was missing out on a weak spot of Ed 209, but like, damn. The first boss battle I've been in is pretty good, it makes me a little terrified for the rest of it. I don't think I'll be able to get those bosses in one go. That's really all I want to say for the game for now, except for I would de most definitely love to see some DLC for the game. I would love to see some DLC for this game in the vein of like just more story missions, stuff that takes place in between two and three of Robocop, maybe after three, maybe retcon three altogether. Maybe make an entire four hour long campaign, which is what Robocop three should have been, you know, something like that. And yeah, as of right now, I don't know if there are any other Robocop cosmetics besides the ones that you get with the pre-order, which is unfortunate for certain people, or like the Alex Murphy edition, which I'm pretty sure you can still get. I'm not so sure if there are any cosmetics because I haven't gotten that deep into the game yet, but um, I would love to see more. Cosmetics in general for this type of game are just a nice surprise. I did not expect that at all. And I feel like DLC would be a great way to kind of implement that too. This game has a lot of replayability, like a lot of replayability from different dialogues and everything. More cosmetics would be a plus. I'm a big cosmetic guy. And especially if they have plans for DLC with like more story missions, new things. Maybe they open up all of Detroit to just be 
roamable. I could see at least two to three more DLC just being like side missions and stories with Robocop doing like, you know, more civic duty, earning the public trust, just doing a bunch of fun stuff, you know? You add a new pistol cosmetic or you add a new Robocop cosmetic here and there, more story. Hell, you've, you've already got an audience. This game is great. And that's exactly why I wanted to make this video. And uh, although the video is done for me right now, uh, I'm going to just play a couple more highlights of the gaming experience. But um, thank you guys for checking out this very rambly review of, of Robocop Rogue City. Go out and get it. It's cheap. And the deluxe edition is like regular game priced anyways. So best of both worlds. I really enjoyed the single player game. And uh, yeah, for all its cheesy corniness, clunkiness, uh, some glitches here and there, I... I don't care. This game is really fun um, and honestly really polished. And the last thing I'll say is that my settings for playing this game are on like medium for everything, just because I don't want to cook my computer. And wow, it's still a very beautiful game. And I've played it on the ultra high settings when I played the demo. Wow, Unreal Engine 5, great choice for this game. It, it was just really, really good. So um, go out, get the game. Uh, check out these highlights and I'll see you all in the next video. I don't know what this is. I'm not a gaming YouTube person. I'm not gonna, no outro for y'all. I'm just gonna grab the camera. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Fugitive has left the trail. This time, pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. Officer Washington, keep cool. I am coming up to your back. Watch this. Hello, Kowalski. Oh, I, I didn't see you there, Murphy. What are you doing here, officer? Nothing much, just trying to collect my thoughts. Would you sign the get well card for Lewis? I know it's Briggs. Yeah? I thought you weren't gonna shoot. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do! These are lice, are these, these are are these, like, the license plates, I'm gonna assume? Barney. You'll make a fine trophy! Snipers! I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. A little humanizing moment for Robocop. I could really use your advice, Lewis. Aww. That'll end my stream for tonight, so.